Good morning. Uh, a couple months ago or so, I did a video on setting up monitor wedges with the uh, UI16. If you're interested, I'll put a link to that video up there somewhere. But I kind of glossed over the uh, the pre-DSP, post-DSP setting in the global settings. So I'd like to talk about that a little bit more. Uh, talking to other sound people and looking at the forums online, it seems that it's about 50-50 as to whether you want to run your aux ends, you know, your monitor wedge feeds, pre-DSP uh, or post-DSP. And I'll be using the uh, Soundcraft demo on their website uh, to show you these settings and so forth. Anyway, in case you don't know, pre-DSP means that you would be taking the signal uh, before the digital signal processing, which is what DSP stands for. That means before the EQ, before the gates, and before the compression, you'd be taking that signal and feeding it to your monitors. Uh, Post-DSP would be uh, that you're taking the signal after you've already gone through the EQ, the gates, and the compressor. Uh, of course, you're going to want to have this set pre-fader either way uh, for your monitor's aux ends. Uh, which is better? I've usually done pre-DSP. Uh, I've found that the, the preamps in the UI16 are plenty good enough that pretty much anything that comes into that unit through a microphone sounds good pre-DSP. Uh, there is an advantage to pre-DSP. I'll, I'll demonstrate it. Uh, compared to post DSP. For example, suppose uh, the uh, person out front running sound, uh, you're running your aux ends post DSP, he's listening out front and he decides that uh, you need more sparkle in your vocal. So he goes to EQ and he goes to the top end, he turns the top end up. Well, if you're running your uh, aux ends post DSP, that's going to turn the high end up in your monitor wedge as well. And that could possibly lead to feedback uh, because he's changing the gain structure. Or if he decides that uh, he's going to turn the makeup gain up on the compressor, that will turn it up in your monitor wedge as well. So usually, nine times out of ten when I've been running monitors, it's mainly vocals that people want in there. And the vocals sound good pre-DSP. If you're running your monitor wedges pre-DSP, it doesn't matter what he does to the EQ or the compressor uh, because you're taking the signal to your monitor wedges before before the EQ and before the uh, compressor and so forth. So you don't have to worry about any changes that are made out front. Okay, And that works well for uh, just about anything that uh, you use a microphone for uh, that I found. Now there is a case where I did use post uh, DSP uh, processing for the monitors. And okay, a number of years ago, the band I was in decided to to get more gigs. We would do a little three-piece acoustic version. So we had two acoustic guitars going, uh, and a piano, and some vocal mics. And I didn't even have an acoustic guitar, so I went out and picked up this beat-up old Taylor guitar. I uh, got a good deal on it. Okay, uh, nice instrument. <laughs> But EQ-wise, the only thing you have on this Taylor guitar is volume, treble, and bass. And if you've ever tried to, to work with a acoustic guitar plugged into the PA system, uh, it's a real pain in the neck, getting them to sound good. And I can tell you that just having treble and bass isn't going to cut it. Okay. So I would work with this with the EQ section, and out front I could get a very nice sound on this acoustic guitar. You know, adding some compression, uh, dealing with the EQ. Could make the acoustic guitars, the two of them sound real good. Uh, but in my monitor wedge, since I was taking the signal pre-DSP, uh, all that work I did with the EQ and the compressor, none of that went through to the monitor wedge. And quite honestly, uh, this guitar through the monitor wedge was caca. It did not sound very good at all. So I switched to uh, post DSP so that I could get the processing that I was doing on the guitar in my monitor wedge. It sounded much better and the vocal still still sounded good. So in that case, uh, post uh, DSP 
um, sends to the, the Oxus worked well for me. So I guess, you know, you could do it either way. And it seems to be about 50% of people that uh, want to run their monitor wedges post DSP and those that want to run it pre. My suggestion would be to try it. Try it both ways. See what sounds better. Um, now on the UI16, it's a global setting. So you go into the, the global settings and, and you either have all the auxes pre-DSP or all the auxes post-DSP. Nice thing on the UI24 is you can do that by channel. You can go into an individual aux and pick the different channels you want to put in that aux and each channel you can decide whether it's going to be pre or post uh, DSP which is a nice feature. Then I, I could have run my vocal pre-DSP and my guitar post uh, which would have been I guess the the ultimate solution. There are other ways to do it. You can use uh, a, you know two channels, one for your front and one for your, your monitors. You could do that with the, with the 24. It would be hard to do with the 16. That eats up a lot of channels. So anyway, I just wanted to touch a little more on that pre-DSP, post-DSP thing. Um, I hope this helps. My suggestion would be to try it both ways, see what works for you. Thank you. Later.